when a person or an animal die, they will undergo a process called decomposition. There are several stages of decomposition such as fresh stage where the skin and flesh are still intact. Bloated stage where the body is bloated due to accumulation of gas and maggot inside the body. Active decay where the skin breaks and releases gas, fluid and maggot into the environment. Advanced decay where only little amount of flesh and skin are left. Skeletonized stage where only skeleton is left. Insects, especially flies, are present in various life forms at different stages of decomposition. For example, they came as early as one or two hours after death. Their larvae can be found in large mass during active decay. When they reach their post-feeding stage, they migrate away from the carcass into the soil until they become pupae. After a few days, adult flies will emerge. The presence of fly larvae is useful for determination of minimum post-mortem interval MPMI. MPMI can be defined as the utilization of insects and other arthropods to estimate the time since death. To determine MPMI by using flies, proper insect collection method is necessary. The adult flies can be captured by using an insect net. There are two techniques commonly used. The first one is by sweeping sideways. The second one is by placing the net on top of the carcass. Then, the adult can be killed inside a killing jar, containing tissue balls soaked with ethyl acetate. Other than using chemicals, the adult flies can also be killed by freezing them for 10 minutes. As for fly larvae, two containers are necessary for collection. First container contains 70% ethanol to preserve the larvae for slide mounting and identification purpose. The second container contains liver for the larvae to feed. This is to rear the larvae into adult flies for confirmation of species. All the samples will be packed and brought to the laboratory for further processing. Other than sample collection, it is also important to check for temperature and humidity of the surrounding daily and compare them with the nearest weather station.